everybody. So in this video, I'm going to be studying for my neurology midterm that is next Monday. We only get this weekend to study for it. Usually we get an entire week to study for a test uh, when we don't have class, but unfortunately that's not the case. I have class every day this week. I am very stressed because today has not been that uh, fantastic. Last Friday, my car didn't start, so I wasn't able to go to class and I missed a synthesis quiz. And I thought, no big deal, I'll get an excused absence. But no, apparently car problems don't count as excused absences. So I got a zero for my synthesis quiz and I got a zero for my team synthesis quiz. So um, I pretty much get a B in this class already. I spent $87 on my car registration today and I got a 70 on my weekly quiz today. Even though I thought I knew the material, apparently I did not. So I am very, very stressed, agitated. I feel very dumb. I'm trying my best to keep it together. So to start my day, I have all my cat toys out so that Kayla says I'm busy for a while. And whenever I study, I really like to play some sort of Netflix movie because it makes me kind of more relaxed. Whenever I get really bored of whatever I'm studying, I can just go look at the Netflix movie really quick. And I just pick random documentaries and I think this one's about a giant lizard. Right now we're learning about seizures and epilepsy, which I really enjoyed that lecture. After I do the objectives of today, I'm gonna to start reviewing old material, uh, hopefully. So let's see what happens. In between the objectives for each lecture, I like to play with my cat. That was my little study break. Come on, kitty. Yeah, so I just got done with lab. We're dissecting the brain and I feel like I'm starting to understand the brain. Like there's just so many structures in the center of it. Like the amygdala and the hippocampus and the hypothalamus and the thalamus and the fornix and the corpus callosum. There's just so many and then there's so many gyri. And now I have my trend module exam which basically they're going to give me a patient and I'm going to have to diagnose him and do all the appropriate physical exams. <sighs> Some new motivation in my life is this thing over there. I feel like now I have to work hard so that I can continue to give us a better life. I just uh, finished my trans module exam and I think it went pretty well. So I really needed that. I really need to know that I can do something right. <laughs> oh coffee, what would I do without you? Literally starting to drink this, this large of a coffee like three times a day. I think I am turning into a real adult now. Okay, so now for the most part, I am caught up in the fourth week. So this midterm covers four weeks of neuro, which is this entire journal of notes. To start reviewing from the beginning, uh, and obviously there is a lot of information. So I have a, I have a little setup going on. So some water, my cappuccino mug, my free reading for the first week. I have a fresh new college rolled five-star notebook in case I actually want to write stuff down, and all of my chewed pens in a variety of colors. A fresh, clean whiteboard, and of course I have the actual book of notes right here in case I want to highlight or write new things. And so this is my little setup, but of course I need some stress food. Wish me luck. I'm going to start today. Today is Wednesday. My cat is chewing my chart. That means I have today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days to study for the midterm. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do week one today, week two tomorrow, week three Friday, week four on Saturday, and then review everything on Sunday if I can. That's the plan, so let's get started. unproductive. Alrighty, it is 6.30 and I am ready to go to school. My quiz that I missed last week is at 8 o'clock today, but I'm not taking any chances, so I'm just gonna go to school right now before I get sleepy and study for it at school so I can't miss it. Alright, so just back, got back from school. I'm going to be volunteering and giving a whole bunch of sports physicals in a few weeks, so I had to train for that today. But now I'm gonna go back home 
Uh, I only got like four to five hours of sleep, but I'm gonna try to go home and see if I can keep going as far as my midterm. Because I really don't want to pull uh, an all-nighter the night before the test. Like, I want things to be different for me. Learning about the areas of the brain. Apparently, if you damage the orbital frontal part of your frontal lobe, you will experience impulsive and disinhibited behavioral changes. Whether that's in the spinal cord or whether we're going to talk about the developing the cortex. Um, talk a little bit about spinal reticular and that came up in the context of once again, my kitten has woken me up shamelessly, and I guess I should get started. All right, back in the old grind, but I am still on week one. Like, how sad is that? <laughs> it's been three days, and I still am on week one. Like, there goes my original plan. All right, we are now Saturday 2, almost 3 p.m. I finished week one yesterday, which is great, but uh, now I only have Saturday, and I just woke up, so I have all of Saturday, and Sunday to do week two, three, and four, because uh, that's me, that's what I do. Uh, so I'm looking at some pictures of corporate amylation, amyloid deposits, and looking at my notes, there's my cat over there, looking at itself. Learning Broadman areas. Trying to pay attention. My markers have died. So I have now have to resort to pen and paper to practice rewriting all of my concepts. So anosmia means that you cannot... Oh, great! Guys, the most ironic thing just happened, but my kitten just killed Cat. <laughs> cat the Cactus is officially dead. I screwed myself so bad. Against science and logic, I somehow slept till 5 p.m. on my last day of sitting. Don't know how that happened. Uh, I think life is just a cruel joke sometimes. <laughs> so I'm about to go to H-E-B and got all the stress food that I need and uh, try to finish two weeks in one day, which I think I've done a few times before now. 20 bucks laid on the H-E-B. All set up here. It's 541, so that it gives me approximately 14 hours to study for this test, so sounds like another countdown. Hiding my iPad, getting Snapchat and Instagram. <music> Doing that thing I do where I pretend like I'm talking to a classroom and write down everything on a whiteboard. Okay class, today we're going to be talking about myotonic dystrophy an autosomal dominant disorder. And it is caused by trinucleotide expansion of CT gene chromosome 19. Ugh, it is 10.55. Copy has officially been made. Calling for desperate measures. Symptoms worsen by rise in body. Dying and laughing. Vascular disease. Cerebral edema. Lungfanger disease. Ugh. Alrighty, finally finished with week three. There were four weeks, so 75% of the way done. And uh, let's see, what time is it? Let's see. Oh, it's only two. Just realizing I never read some of this stuff. Hopefully it wasn't a lot. Oh, God. I am officially done studying for this. My place is an absolute mess. It always is. Midterm time, final time. Wearing my lucky shirt. I look like trash. I feel like trash. Let's just hope I don't perform like trash. Home free. Exam was not that bad. I finished in an hour, which doesn't ever happen. Woo! 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 All right, guys, well, thank you for coming with me on another journey of medicine life. We'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, everyone.